From Lincolnshire to Lancashire, from Humberside to Dovith, the chip shops of Britain are feeling the pinch. In some, prices have soared from 7 to 20 pence a bag, and one Rotherham chippy has forecast that the days of the 50p bag aren't far off, as the cost of the humble potato rockets to unprecedented levels. This weekend, they were up to £240 a tonne, four to five times the price at this time last year. It's estimated that almost half the chip shops in the country have closed down and their owners taken extended holidays rather than try passing on these prices to their customers. Normally, the warehouse of potato wholesaler Richard Wellock would be packed floor to ceiling with half hundredweight sacks of potatoes. Now he has difficulty in selling what few he can get. Mr. Wellock usually delivers 600 bags a day to chip shops in his area. Last week, he barely touched 55 a day as orders were cancelled or cut back. Well, the 550 a bag today, Don. Well, I mean, it's not an economic, economical proposition. Uh, you've got to take into account that you've got your staff to pay, your lighting, your gas, your heating, everything else, paper, all these things that come into it, and you, you're not breaking even. So therefore, it's not a practical proposition. You're better off shutting your door. To blame is what the Fish Fryers Federation calls a conspiracy of the elements. The potatoes, planted late because of the wet winter, were then hit by surprise frosts, and the long dry spell has deprived them of the rain they badly need. There seems little sign of the three to four days continuous rain they must now have to stop them dying off altogether. Cheshire farmers Fred and Sidney Pierpoint have 25 acres of potatoes. Normally they collect up to 16 tonnes an acre. This year they're getting just two and a half. They reckon their machine is picking up more stones than spuds, so they'll even be gathering the tiny potatoes normally left behind for the cows. Some farmers are making a killing, harvesting main crops not due for picking for several months, a move likely to cause more shortages later. I've been farming over 40 years and I've never experienced anything quite like this. We've had all ups and downs, but never to this extent. And I think I could truthfully say it's taken half the tonnage off the market. And how long is this likely to go on for? Is there going to be a potato famine all summer? I think so. And right through to the late ones. So many chip shop owners will be returning from their enforced holiday to a situation even worse than the one they left. And the final savage blow to this once great British institution comes from a cafe in Cone in Lancashire, which joined the great potato boycott after discovering that it can sell bangers and beans, hamburgers, meat pies, and even black pudding cheaper than a bag of chips.